Hey everyone, this is Jason. We're looking at how to do a composition of functions. So basically what we're doing here is we're taking one function, we're replacing it into another function to create a new function. So, and this is how they're written. They're written like this, and then you have to understand how to read this. This means g of h of x. So that means I'm going to take the g function, and I'm going to insert the h of x function into it. And so here, in this case, I'm taking this, and I'm filling it in where x is, and then simplify. So here I've got 2x minus 3. I'm going to replace the x with x squared plus 4x. And then it is just a matter of simplifying. So how do I simplify this? I'm going to do distributive property right here. So that gives me 2x squared plus 8x minus 3. And then I look to see if anything combines. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. In this case, nothing combines. So that is the final composition function, g of h of x. Okay, so let's take a look at some other examples. There's different ways and things are, are uh, given. There's different functions. It doesn't matter. It's all the same. You're just going to do what you're told to do here. So like on this one, <clears throat> we're given g of a, and we're given h of a, and then we're asked to find h of h of a. Well, don't get confused here. There's, there's nothing weird about this. We just don't need that G function. That's just extra information. So we're going to forget about it. And then we're just going to substitute H of H of A. And so again, here's A squared minus 9. And what we're going to do is we're going to take A, and we're going to substitute it into that function again. So we've got A squared minus 9 squared minus 9. And so now we just have to simplify this. Again, we're going to use techniques that we've learned throughout uh, Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and even, you know, occasionally some things in geometry, but this one's just um, using some stuff we learned in Algebra 1. So this is going to be A squared minus 9 times A squared minus 9 minus 9. So we'll apply FOIL here. So that'll be A to the fourth power minus 9A squared. Then we'll have minus 9A squared again plus 81. And then we'll bring them as minus 9. And then we'll just simplify. So here's a place where we'll have to simplify a few things. Those two will combine together. Those two will combine together. So we'll end up with a to the fourth minus 18a squared, and then 81 minus 9 is 72, so plus 72, and there again, that's the final answer. So all of these will look like expressions somehow, and it'll just be simplifying is probably going to be the hardest part for most of these. All right, so let's take a look at this one. This is f of g of x. So again, we're taking the f function, or excuse me, the g function, and we're substituting it everywhere we see an x. So f of g of x is going to equal x squared minus x. And so we'll have x minus 2 squared minus x minus 2. And so we'll have to simplify this. x minus 2 times x minus 2. Then minus x minus 2. A lot of x minus 2 is there. All right, so again, FOIL. So that's x squared minus 2x minus 2x plus 4 minus x plus 2. And so now we just combine things that we can combine together. So again, we've got we've got negative 2x, negative 2x, and negative x. So that's 4, 5x. we got x squared minus 5x. And then we've got 4 plus 2 
plus 6. And so that's f of g of x. Okay, that's all there is to it. And I think I got one more example. This is where things get a little more complicated, but you just have to do the work here. So we're doing f of g of x, and I've already kind of done that substitution, so you can see what that looks like. So again, we're substituting g, which is g, into f. So I've got two places where I've got to substitute that in. That's going to look like this. And now it's a matter of simplifying. The simplifying here is the hard part because we have to get common denominators and then simplify the fractions. So both of these, since we have x plus 1s, that's going to be our LCD. And so we'll have on the top, we'll have 2 over x plus 1 plus 2 times x plus 1 over x plus 1. In the denominator, we've got 2 over x plus 1 plus x plus 1 over x plus 1. x plus 1 over x plus 1 cancels out, giving me 2 here, which is what I had. x plus 1 over x plus 1 cancels, giving me 1, which is what I had here. So now it's just a matter of simplifying these. And again, this is the hardest one, so... Um, if you don't have a problem like this, don't worry about it, but at least some of you are going to have a problem just like this. And so we'll have in the top 2 plus, and here I'm going to distribute 2x plus 2 over x plus 1 over, and let's change color so we don't have all red here. We've got 2 plus x plus 1 over x plus 1. Now don't try to cancel anything here because that takes us back to where we were trying to simplify and so you just have to start over. So now we're just combining any like terms that we have and I have 2 plus 2 which is 4 so that'll be 2x plus 4 over x plus 1 over 2 plus 1 is 3 so this would be x plus 3 over x plus 1. That's a lot of stuff there. But this is a division problem. So in division, we have to multiply by a reciprocal. So first, we're going to write this out as 2x plus 4 over x plus 1. That's that top fraction right here. This means to divide. And then we're going to divide by x plus 3 over x plus 1. And remember, the rule is to keep change flip. And look how nice this works out. These x plus 1s are going to cancel, leaving me with 2x plus 4 over x plus 3. And that's going to be my f, I think it was f of g, right? Yeah, f of g of x. And then we'll have to say that our domain is x cannot equal negative 3. It also cannot equal negative 1. Because you can't have a 0 in the denominator. And when we get done, we definitely can't have a 3 in the denominator. So we can't have those as part of the domain. So I hope this helps you with this lesson as you're working in Algebra 2. If not, please let me know and I'll come up with some additional resources to help you uh, get through the lesson.